Understand her, understand her. Were it not for her creator, there would be no religion. No Muhammad and no Haider would exist were it not for her. There would be no religion. This is Fatima to Zahra. This is Fatima Zahra. Muhammad says, watching the planets rotate, they'd not be, were not me. And my city would not be without its gates. No, Ali, I'd not be. Yet without space, what can sun and moon create? They'd falter and shatter. Space is a veil for a woman prostrate. Fatima, my mother. Her prostration is truly worth all creation. What a divine prostration. From her tears were born a nation with heaven their destination there would be no religion. The stardust that was born with creation's birth in her veil, it wails. And the cross that was once used to birth the earth, her prayer beads hold its seeds. The head of judgment day bows when she comes forth. Heads lower, she tower. If her sons are heaven's masters, what's her worth? Her shadow doesn't know. None were worth her, but he who splits the hereafter, he who splits hell and heaven. It's enough to say her husband, had we not obeyed his command, there would be no religion. On the souls of women, God made her a queen, and Sheba envies her. The mother of Jesus herself has not seen such a sight, faith in light. If the queen of women of the worlds she'd not been, understand heaven's hand. The Lord would make it that there would be no men, and she'd rule jinn and all. There not be men, and she'd rule both heaven and earth, commanding earth's rotation. Does it matter she's a ruler? If we don't take her a teacher, there would be no religion. When Muhammad would miss the heaven sent, he would smell her veil. For this world, Fatima's veil was not meant, it hushes earth's roses. Would verse 33 by the Lord have been sent? Were she not, I think not. I think the Satan's knots are left withered and bent where she walks, heaven stalks, whites of her eyes are plains of heaven where truth lies, no plains for her are hidden. Lifeless idols shriek in despair when she prays and were not her prayer, there would be no religion. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. As we mentioned in the poem, were it not her prayer, there would be no religion. Fatim Zara salam was famous for her prayers and her duas. And often is the case in the narration state that Fatim Zahra would pray until the night or throughout the whole night until even her feet would swell up. We'll focus on two or three main supplications for Fatim Zahra alayhi salam that was, is recommended to recite. Her dua on turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As mentioned, Fatim Zahra would often supplicate. And when she supplicated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with this dua, Oh Allah, I ask you for loyalty and for the fear of you in pleasure and in anger and for economy in wealth and poverty. Oh Allah, I ask you for incessant bliss and ask you for ceaseless delight and ask you for satisfaction with fate and ask you for a good life after death and ask you for the looking at your face and the eagerness to your meeting without a harming distress or a dark sedition. O oh Allah, adorn us with adornment of faith and make us guided and guides, O oh, you, the Lord of the world. That's one of her um, du'as or supplication and turning towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is another du'a that she has, which is a du'a on resorting to Allah. She recited in this du'a, O oh Allah, make me satisfied 
with what you have given to me. Honor me and give me good health as long as you make me live. Forgive me and have mercy on me when you make me die. O oh Allah, do not afflict me with asking for what you have not determined for me. And whatever you have determined for me, make it easy and accessible. O oh Allah, reward my parents for me and whoever has done me a favor with the best of reward. O oh Allah, take me to what you have created for me for. Do not make me busy with what you have already secured to me. Do not punish me while I ask you to forgive me. And do not deprive me while I beg you. O oh Allah, make me humble to myself. Make your standing great to me and inspire me with your obedience and doing of what pleases you and avoiding what displeases you. O oh, you, the most merciful of the merciful. And of course, what she's really trying to say to the people and what she's left behind is one of her legacies. These words is of twofold, turning towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and during an affliction, resorting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And of course, it's all about not losing hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Fatin Zahra alayhi salam in a situation where she lost her father, where her right was taken from her, where she lost her unborn child, where she saw her husband um, persecuted and attacked and accused. Even in those situations, she would often turn towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or resort to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course, when it comes to du'as and supplications, we have during the week recommended times where you can set aside some time to supplicate to your Lord, to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the blessings that he has given to you. Of course, we have busy lives and trying to make time to, to supplicate towards your, to, to, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is seen in great light by Allah. So we have days like Tuesday and Thursday and Friday. Tuesday nights, you can recite du'a tawassul where you're seeking the intercession of the Ahlul Bayt or on Thursday, you can recite Dua Kumain, upon which it's a beautiful narration of supplications by Imam Ali salam, narrated by Kumail, his companion. Or for example, on Friday morning, you can recite Dua Nudba, where you're seeking um, or you're pleading with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring near the appearance or the reappearance of our way to Savior, Imam Mahdi ta'ala Farajul Sharif. And of course, one of the main legacies that she left behind is the tasbih of Fatima Zahra, the dua of tasbih. Fatima recited in this dua, glory be to him who has shone with might and power. Glory be to him who has hidden in seven heavens that no eye can see. Glory be to him who has lowered creatures with death and honored himself with life. Glory be to him who remains and everything else perishes. Glory be to him who has chosen praise to himself and accepted it. Glory be to the ever-living, the omniscient. Glory be to the forbearing, the honorable. Glory be to the most high, the great. Glory be to Allah and his praise. There was a special occasion where Fatim Zahra alayhi salam was seen to be quite busy with the daily routines of life, cooking and cleaning and looking after the children. So, during one of those times, the Prophet came to her and she, he saw her quite tired, quite exhausted. And he said to her, oh daughter, is everything, is there anything wrong? Is there anything that I can be of assistance with? She says, uh, she doesn't really complain, but um, she was saying that, you know, it, it, it is getting difficult to be able to deal with the daily routines. And so the Prophet blessed her with a special dua of salawat or a special supplication that we do every single day after our salahs, which is the tasbih of Fatima Zahra. It is, as recommended, 34 times Allahu Akbar, 33 times Alhamdulillah, and 33 times Subhanallah. Highly recommended after every salah. It takes only a minute to do, but the reward that you get and the ease of comfort after is magnificent. Veiled like her pearls, veiled by an ocean, and her seas no man sees. And veiled are her true lovers and children, yesterday and today. If you love her, then to her veil listen. Her costumes speak volumes. What you value most is always left hidden. Soothe her rib, wear hijab. She adores you, and she knows your worth and value. Hold your beauty deep within. 
she did not die for your wails. Understand that without veils, there would be no religion. Understand that without veils, there would be no religion.